This is Adrenal Insufficiency video series. My name is Irina Venkos, and this is part four, glucocorticoid-induced adrenal insufficiency. Glucocorticoid-induced adrenal insufficiency is a type of iatrogenic secondary adrenal insufficiency, which is characterized by inability to produce ACTH due to chronic exposure to exogenous cortisol-like hormone. Chronic exogenous exposure to glucocorticoids leads to impaired CRH and ACTH production with subsequent decrease in cortisol production from the adrenal cortex. Patients frequently present with signs of cortisol excess due to exposure to supraphysiological exogenous glucocorticoids. Let's examine a case of a patient with glucocorticoid-induced adrenal insufficiency. This is a 51-year-old woman who presented with progressive symptoms of weight gain, stria, and easy bruising. She has been taking prednisone 10 mg daily for the last 12 months for polymyalgia rheumatica. During a recent one-week trip, she forgot to take prednisone with her and reported severe fatigue and nausea during that time. This resolved when she restarted prednisone. Laboratory testing showed undetectable ACTH and undetectable cortisol. The highlighted symptoms of weight gain, stria, and easy bruising are the symptoms we would expect in cortisol excess, and this is because she is taking too much prednisone. However, when she did not take prednisone during that one week away trip, she developed symptoms of adrenal insufficiency with severe fatigue and nausea. These results when she restarted her supraphysiological prednisone. Let's recall that cortisol production is entirely dependent on ACTH. While aldosterone is not dependent on ACTH, it is regulated in part by angiotensin II, potassium balance, and only in a smaller part by ACTH. HBA axis responds to diurnal variation or clock, and also in stress, ACTH and cortisol are augmented relative to the degree of stress. Let's examine what is happening when someone is taking supraphysiological prednisone. In this case, prednisone acts at the level of glucocorticoid receptor, and as long as a patient is taking prednisone, symptoms of adrenal insufficiency would not develop. At the same time, through a negative feedback mechanism at the level of the hypothalamus and then pituitary gland, excessive amounts of prednisone suppress CRH production and in turn ACTH production. This leads to adrenal cortical atrophy, poor response to cassentropin, and no endogenous or adrenal cortisol production. What is the cause of glucocorticoid-induced adrenal insufficiency? This would be any type of exogenous glucocorticoids. Most commonly, it is through injections, intraarticular injections, oral prednisone or dexamethasone, which is prescribed most commonly for inflammatory disorders, topical glucocorticoids, such as triamcinolone, inhaled glucocorticoids, such as fluticasone, or rectal glucocorticoids. The treatment of glucocorticoid-induced adrenal insufficiency includes a slow taper of exogenous glucocorticoid as long as supraphysiological doses are no longer required for inflammatory disorder. Exogenous glucocorticoids should not be completely tapered off, and a physiological glucocorticoid therapy should be continued until recovery of adrenal function is fully documented. Typically, hydrocortisone, prednisolone, or prednisone are used until adrenal function improves. All patients should be instructed on stress dosing and emergency dosing. 
Please see more in the section of Treatment of Adrenal Insufficiency and section of Glucocorticoid Withdrawal Syndrome for more details. In summary, glucocorticoid-induced adrenal insufficiency is a subtype of secondary adrenal insufficiency that is caused by the inability to produce ACTH and subsequent inability to produce cortisol due to chronic exposure of exogenous glucocorticoid. Glucocorticoid-induced adrenal insufficiency requires careful and slow taper of exogenous glucocorticoid until a physiological supplemental daily dose of glucocorticoid is reached. Glucocorticoid withdrawal symptoms are likely to occur during this period. Glucocorticoid-induced adrenal insufficiency requires treatment with glucocorticoids until recovery of adrenal function occurred. Please see more on Assessment for Recovery of Adrenal Function video for more details. This concludes Part 4, Glucocorticoid-Induced Adrenal Insufficiency. Please continue to Part 5.